So we got to go thrifting together the other day Yay. and this doesn't happen super often. It's usually me out on the hunt for things to resell. Um, but it was a snowy day. We needed to get our packages out and Goodwill was having a sale on their women's clothing. There was a coupon for 50% off. I also had a 20% off coupon for donating some items. And so we decided to all go together as a family. And so we both, nice. we divvy up in the store generally, and then we bought all our things. And so we can, he picked things, I picked things. And so now we'll just show you what we picked up that day. And we'll be able to each explain to you why we picked what we picked. Okay. Do you want to start with something? Sure. Okay. Go for it. I'll start with this one. It's a little bit of an unknown, um, but it's boule cowboy boots. And what caught my eye was we the think little. You say boule. Okay, that's how I'm gonna <laughs> say it. It could be boulette. I don't know. Um, the little spur symbol there. Um, we've had good success with like Ariat, Justin, anything that's cowboy boot related. Um, but anyway, I've never seen this one, so thought we'd give it a try. And there aren't any listed. Um... No, there's Maybe. no comps. So it's one of those that kind of like the Travis Tritt hat mm -hmm. could be really good, could sell quickly because there aren't any on there. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. You want to do another hat? Okay. Just do the hats. Do the hats. All right. So this one, again, this caught my eye. Um, you can see it's, it's Sitka. It's kind of tough, but it's just the camo. Um, and what is that kind of camo called? D digi camo? Digi camo. It's like digital pixelated. Um, anything with Alaska, we always tend to look and they seem to do well. Mm -hmm. This happens to be um, a really expensive brand of clothing, um, you know, probably for hunting. I haven't done the research too in depth, um, but again, there weren't any hats that I saw listed, just clothing, mm -hmm. um, but those numbers were fairly high. So this could be a Definitely good one. Good. But it's and, a new brand. Okay, so our hats, this is Goodwill, so it's $2 a hat generally. We had a 20% off coupon. You know, I didn't double check. They might have given me half off for the hats too, because they might have been included in the women's accessories, because it was women's clothing, shoes, and accessories. So we tried the hats with my coupon, and I just never looked. Mm -hmm. Or did you buy them? Yeah, remember you sent me through with the coupon. Oh. With... No, twenty percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had a fifty percent coupon. And oh, gotcha. I, I said let's take the. We hats. got the twenty. Yeah. Right, and I said let's put the hats in the women's, but right. then I probably forgot to take them. Okay. Whatever. So twenty percent off of two dollars. So, but at the most is what we paid. Yeah. So, okay. Here's another one. This one caught my eye because it has leather brim, and then it looks like wool. So sure enough, it was, and it's a. Uh, it's vintage Banana Republic. Um, so it's 100% or 80% wool, uh, made in USA, but that leather brim, and then it's kind of interesting. I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. It's felted on the bottom. So that should be good. Um, here's two of the same brand. Uh, it's RL Winston Rod Company. I've never heard of it, but we sold a hat a while ago that was, you know, again, a specialty fishing rod um and so i thought well we'll try it sure enough um they do pretty well so we found two in different parts of the store uh, one's practically new the other one needs a little bit of cleaning um, but that was the hats all right and um if i find comps we haven't done deep dive in the comps on the things that we bought yet but if we if i find the comps when i'm editing i will pop those as we go. Do you want to show the sweatshirt that goes sure. with those hats? So this is what I saw first. Uh, it's just a hoodie and I actually passed it up because again, I didn't really think about it, but after I found the hats and I did the research, I went back and grabbed the hoodie. Um, you know, it's, it's worn, mm -hmm. but it's not got any fraying or anything. So try to list those all around the same time and see what happens. See what happens. Okay, so here's another men's clothes item. You found this one as well. Yeah. This was in the sweaters, men's sweaters. And as you can see, it's got the big old crest on the front, the brand Tommy Hilfiger. So it's vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Um, anyway, I was able to find a comp. I'll put that up on the screen. It was in the $60 range. 
And so even though there is some discoloration around the collar, we'll either, we're gonna try to get that mm -hmm. out. Okay, we'll, we'll wash that and try to get that out. It does have that feel of being washed and air dried. Yeah. It's like kind of stiff. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll be able to soften it up a little bit too. But um, what's it? It's just cotton, right? Yeah, not sure. Anyway, so <laughs> any of those like kind of Y2K, 90s Y2K brands, especially when there's something kind of loud about them, large logos, spell outs, those tend to do a little bit better. Yeah, 100% cotton. So here's another men's clothing piece that we picked up. It was a sport coat or blazer. And the top, it says Nordstrom. But what I was looking for when I saw that it was a wool tweed was this uh, label for Harris Tweed. And that's just something we look for and sell. We did sell a Harris Tweed recently. I don't think it's come up in my What Sold video yet, but it's coming back to us because it didn't fit. But that's just what happens with clothing sometimes. But Harris Tweed is definitely something to look for yeah. in tweed blazers. We've always done well with Harris Tweed, um, just in general. And then the- It's Nordstrom, so yeah, that's nice. The, um, whoever's selling it. It's vintage, made in the USA. It's got a union label. Yeah, so we'll see how that does. See if we can find the size in it. Okay, this is editing me. I was editing this video and I got to this part about this Harris Tweed blazer. And no joke, I got a notification that it sold. So we sold it for $90, as you can see. We kind of just had to, um, there was, we couldn't find the size tag, so we had to just use measurements and such and kind of base it off my my husband being able to wear it and, and et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully that won't come back to us. Um, other resellers have mentioned it, but there seems to be a high number of returns this year. We've definitely had more than more than usual for the last couple of weeks or so. So we just got to get through it. And um, that other Harris Tweed came back. Like I said, it's relisted. This one just sold. Hopefully there's no issue with the sizing and how it works. So the other one was tagged with a size and we had measurements and the person still didn't like how it fits. So sometimes that just happens. But anyway, just thought that was so funny. I was just listening to myself or ourselves talk about Harris Tweed and cha-ching, it's old. <laughs> um, anyway, so for women's clothing, I did find a few things that I could use the 50% off coupon for. So this actually, I ran into a friend and she had tried this on and it didn't fit. And so she brought me over to the, um, you know, discard out of the changing room rack. And she said, oh, you probably would want this to sell. And so I recognized right away that it was Missoni when she was holding it up, the designer. And then I looked, it's Missoni, and then it's got the little Target symbol. So Missoni did a collab with Target, well, quite a few years ago now. So I haven't comped this one yet. If you find vintage pieces of Missoni, that's like really big money, especially in the chevron zigzag pattern. Um, I did recently sell a Missoni scarf for good money. Um, and it wasn't the collaboration with Target. It was just straight Missoni and it still had its tags. It, I think it's sold on Poshmark. Um, but anyway, yeah, just a basic dress. So we'll see how that does. I'll throw up a comp. I'm sure I'll be able to find a comp on that one. Do you want me to keep going? Yeah, sure. Um, couple more I'll just do these two women's clothes so looking through I was looking through the blazers and I found St. John so not St. John's Bay we always remember that right it's just it's St. John it's a swanky little s <laughs> yeah it's a swanky women's brand right and it's generally these um like I, so after I found the jacket, I went to the pants and I went to the skirts and I tried to find anything purple <laughs> mm -hmm. jumping out at me. Um, there wasn't anything there, but I should still be able to just to sell this no problem by itself. And it has the buttons with the St. John logo on them. So I think this will do pretty well. 
There are a couple of Facebook groups you can sell St. John in, but I've always done fine just selling it right on eBay. Yeah. And it does pretty well. I've noticed that it's got shiny brass buttons almost always. Yeah. Yeah, so if you see shiny brass buttons and they're a bit Ooh. ornate. I did just find a hole. I was looking. That's the other thing you have to look out for. This type of material, there's often holes in it. Okay, it's called a Santana knit, but the hole is in the pocket. So that is going to affect value, but I'm going to list it anyway. And just, what are you looking at? Sorry. Oh, anyway. <laughs> it's a tow truck just pulled in. I'm gonna make sure he's not coming for anything of ours. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It is weird. Okay, and so then the other blazer I picked up while I was looking at both of them is this cute, cute, cute little J. Crew blazer. Now it's velvet. I did double check it because um, I looked at the inside tag and yeah, if you look at the inside tag of J. Crew clothing, it gives you the date. This one, you can take my word for it. It says FA09, so fall of 2009. Hmm. So I was like, well, it's not quite vintage, but it's not a current style either. But people always love the velvet blazers like and it's such an awesome color if it was my size i would well no it's it's the style that doesn't quite work on me but i always think it's gonna work on me but it doesn't <laughs> and it's got a little peplum style there so i did a quick search for um size four because that's what this is a size four velvet j crew blazers and the prices were really good no matter how old they were so i think we're gonna do pretty good on that one my turn? Yep. Okay, so this is just kind of a hiking shirt. It's got the roll tab, roll tab sleeves. Um, it's mountain hardware, which in and of itself isn't necessarily a big fast seller, um, but it does have a loyal following. And so depending on what it is, um, and this one potentially will fit me. So mm -hmm. it's always a plus. And I was the one who found that and I kind of was like, oh, Mace might want this. But then if, I don't know, we'll, we'll look it up and see its value. Yeah. If it's worth too much, you don't get to keep no, it. No, that's how it always works. So yeah. If it's, it's not going to be worth that much. If it's, it's worth, <laughs> well, sometimes we'll even list it. Right. Right. Like if, if it's way out of season and I'm not in love with it, we'll list right. it. And it's if it, not the greatest color for you. I mean, it, it's yeah. fine, but. What do you mean? It's gray. <laughs> I, I wear black or very, no, very dark gray. It's I'm like, like Batman. Beige gray, though. I just noticed today all of my stuff is dark colors. Yeah. Okay. So here's another one. Um, this is uh, Orvis. And oh, the I didn't reason, even know you got that. Yeah, the reason I got it, um, Orvis, again, is kind of hit or miss. The reason I went ahead and got this one is because it has the Sherpa inside. It's a really interesting kind of... I, we've sold stuff Did like this before. Did you look it up, though? Yeah, I looked it up. Okay. It sells. Okay. But we've just, Orvis hasn't, it doesn't fly off the shelf. Right, right. But it's also um, XXL. So okay. with all of those factors involved, I'm like, you know what? I just thought it was, if it was my size, I would wear it. Right. So I'm I was gonna... thinking, yeah. And we didn't pay a whole lot. We paid yeah. 7 or $8 for it. Yeah. I know I've looked up a similar style in the past at the thrift store, but it was kind of pricey. And I just looking at comps was like, why does... Why do people not buy Orvis as much as they no, should? No, it's really nice you know? quality. It's just, I think it's just brand. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> and then I found this as well. Kind of a similar thing. Uh, it's called, oh, let's see if you can see it. Black Ladder. Um, it's it's really like a work, work wear. tradesman. Yeah, workwear. So carpentry, plumbing. Um, a lot of guys I know, they really love the pants. Um, they wear those. They They hold up really well. Um, you know, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that could be worth something. It's here. We'll do it longer yeah. for the people didn't look over right away. And so, it's not one to like, like, oh, you no. should find that. It's a Bolo brand. It's just. Well, when I saw it, I got excited because I don't, I rarely find it. Uh -huh. um, so again, if it turns out that it's not worth a ton, mm -hmm. um, I'll probably keep it. And another quick note from editing me. So we didn't even look up comps on this. My husband tried it on. He's keeping it. So we didn't even bother going any further with her research. And one of those um, 
I've looked up Black Ladder before um, thrifting, and may, it could be a case where the more substantial pieces do better than, yeah. you know, or certain sure. pieces do better than others. Yeah. But it is a kind of, like, on the level of Carhartt, maybe, like, mm -hmm. as far as pricing in the yeah. stores, or is it more expensive? No, it should be about the same as Carhartt. It just doesn't, it's not as well known as uh -huh. Carhartt, and so it's kind of a different... Uh, market yeah right it's guys right. who want stuff like Carhartt but they kind of want the features that Black Ladder has. is it European yeah oh yeah yeah it's a European brand. yeah okay all right so I'm just gonna share this even though I'm keeping it because it's not a big um, it's not it, it's like a no-name kind of purse but I just thought it was funny because I have the same exact purse in brown a little <laughs> bit smaller and it's my thrifting purse. Like I use it quite a bit because it's it can go crossbody and it's nice and slim. And I don't like a lot of weight and things purses hanging on me while I'm thrifting. That I get tired too fast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I found a red one and I like red. So okay, and now this is the this is the stuff my husband, Mr. Pishposh, rolls his eyes at me. I have no idea. You did a I mean, little I bit. I do, yeah. I you did well. roll your eyes But it you. also sells well, so <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's just because I have a lot of it, and you know, because you've seen my Bins of Shame video, but I found more fabric. She did. Okay, but so look So we're going to have this. another bin. We, we need another <laughs> bin. So look, look at this. Look at this tapestry fabric. It's awesome. Like, how is that not awesome? It is awesome. And there's a lot of it. I, don't, I haven't measured it yet or anything like that, but... The last amount of tapestry fabric I had that was that winter scene with the animals and stuff, mm -hmm. that sold fairly quickly. It did. So I, this is like farmland, countryside, there's like horse and wagon, mm -hmm. barns, farms. I think that'll do good. I paid $6 minus the 20%. Mm -hmm. So that's a good deal. But someone had donated a bunch of vintage fabric. I'm gonna put up some footage right here to show the vintage fabric that was there, but I didn't get all of it, just so you know. <laughs> didn't get all of it. <laughs> There's always next time. <laughs> it might still be there, but I will. Yeah, well, I'll have a coupon at that time too. Anyway, so here's just some examples. It's all very like 80s, kind of that um, shiny, silky kind of fabric, but not silk. And I like this one. I like this pattern. This one I think is Hoffman. No, Burlington yeah. Studio Prints. That one's a really pretty print. Um, then there were this one. Some of them are not marked, which is going to be a little bit more difficult for me. But I, I picked the ones that I really liked. The color and the pattern. Very vintage looking. This one's more of a rough textured one. Kind of creepy. I don't remember. Some of them had names, some didn't. That one was David King Designs, which I did a quick search and I couldn't find anything for that. This might have been the Hoffman. Hoffman California Fabrics, 1987. So I kind of dated all the other fabrics kind of based on that same idea. So 80s fabrics, but that was fun. Anything else? Vintage. For me? Yeah. Um, I yeah. have some other... So in our Goodwill, they put a lot of hard goods, like glassware and stuff, in the women's section on top. Mm -hmm. So I always try to go through those. And, on top and, of the racks. Yeah, on top of the racks. Um, and they, there's some good stuff up there. But this one, uh, it's a vintage Taco Time carafe. Um, Do again, the other ones listed have a lid? Or no, not? no, no lid. Okay. It's kind of like Shakey's Pizza or places like that where, um, what was the other one, Godfather's? You know, you would order your drink it would come in this. Almost the same shape that mm -hmm. I remember as a kid. Um, but anyway, I've never seen Taco Time because mm -hmm. I didn't realize they actually served it like that. Um, unless it was a promotion thing. Yeah. It's a little faded, so the ones that were comped that sold were not. But um, I did some research. I'm going to try to see if I can um, brighten that up. If there's a way to do that. And comps were about what? 50 bucks? About $50, for the yeah. Because, ones? yeah. Because, and they might have been 
touched up. Hard to say. Mm -hmm. I've never done that before, but it wasn't very expensive, so I'm going to give it a try. And then you found these, mm -hmm. but I'm going to list them. Um, these are so cool. Yeah. Anyway, so they're vintage glassware, and there is a name on them, which is always helpful. And make sure I do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's Georges Briard, which is a good, good name in vintage glassware. So there's only two. Um, I did a quick research on the way home, just kind of looking at Art Deco style. I was looking at white, but it's actually frosted. It's frosted, yeah. So I have to redo my search. But th that style, I think it'll do pretty good. I think so. I mean, yeah. They were 99 cents a piece plus the 20% mm -hmm. off. Um, other hard goods, this one. So I found two of these. They are Eddie Bauer Home. So we it was 13 with the 20% off, but it's a flannel twin size comforter cover. And I will admit the comps were not that great <laughs> or my phone wasn't working so good. I was like, there have to be solds of, of these types of things. And there, there are, but it's new and packaged. This is very like lodge decor colors and everything. Um, and they're, they're, they're older. Okay. I yeah. don't, I don't know an age on this one. I don't see like a, where it's made or anything like that, but you know, nothing like it is currently available at the moment. Yeah. Well, so sorry. Oh, go ahead. I just, and twin is not the worst size, but it's not the best either. But at the very least we thought we could use it on one of our boys. Mm -hmm. duvets. Right? I think we'll do well though, because it's, you know, you have two sets. People are trying to, you know, they mm -hmm. have Airbnbs or whatever they're trying yep. to, and they want that look and that's hard to find yeah. nowadays. So. Some of this packaging is kind of like it's, yeah. um, has cracked or whatever. It's, it's just been another, in storage for a while. It's an older item. That's yeah. what kind of gives that away too. So we're going to experiment on those shoes we have. So shoes were also included in the women's. That's all. I just got two pairs. Oh no, in those. Um, shoes were also included in the women's 50%. So I paid $10 for these. They are Sunita. So I think I, I've sold, I sold Sunita not that long ago and somebody did mention in the comments, I think Sunita came before Dance Go. You're looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh sure. To know this. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Anyway, but Sunita to me, I don't know, the, I, I had sworn off. I know you're saying, Shannon, you said you weren't going to sell Dance Go anymore <laughs> because some of them get like dry rotted and you can't tell until you're walking around in them and you see what happens, right? So we're going to take another chance, <laughs> but it had a cool pattern. I did see them at Goodwill the other day, but it was $20 and I wasn't going to pay that. So I did, I went ahead for the $10. These are also Sunita, but they are um, co-branded with Koi, the Scrubs brand. Mm -hmm. So I have sold Koi Sunita clogs before. So kind of definitely playing up the, you know, dance goes are a lot of nursing, yeah. nurses and doctors, whatever, where dance goes to work. People who work in uh, restaurants, restaurants, things like that. So the Scrubs brand kind of, you know, they joined up with them. And then the other pair of shoes I found, I've heard of Gola before for sneakers, but it's a Gola and J Crew um, collaboration and they were in pretty good condition. Yeah, they're super clean. And I looked up and prices were pretty good. And I also had to pay $10 for these. So our shoe prices are not super cheap at the moment, but half off day, I felt like I could grab a couple things. So we'll see how those do. Again, uh, we'll have put comps up here for the goalless if I can. And then are these our last two things? Um, and then this, oh. but this isn't super exciting. Well, do your not so exciting now. Super... <laughs> okay, and we'll so... end with one of my favorites. So I saw this. Um, I don't usually pay much attention to uh, battery chargers like this, but this one uh, has a battery in it. Um, and these, these are the old style NICAD batteries, not the lithium ions they use now. The reason why I got this is because this is one of the 
the newer chargers before they kind of phased out. Um, and so there are guys out there who were invested, right, in this battery pack. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe they're not necessarily, you know, running a company right now, but they did or whatever. Um, and I've found that if you find something like this, um, it could be really um, useful to someone who needs a replacement. Batteries stop working, chargers, for some reason, don't last very long. <laughs> they you tend to stop working. It together or something? Yeah, oh, yeah. together. Yep. And, and I have sold chargers. They usually sell for $25, $30, depending on the brand. Um, so, anyway, this was just one of those where I figured I'd take a chance on it. And I do have some of these old batteries um, that I need to test, mm. but I have no way of charging them. No, you do. So, I can test those batteries, see if maybe I can make a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, sometimes you can sell these batteries just as parts. Okay. But now I can figure that out. So see, all of you have been wanting Mr. Pishposh to talk about tools, so there you go. <laughs> so uh, this is just another little thing I picked up. It was just 99 cents minus whatever. So, And it's just a little business card portfolio. I didn't look it up. It does have a name. It was made in the USA. I think it says Hazel. So again, if there's comps, I'll, I'll throw that up there. Um, it's just getting to be that time of year. I've done a video on it. I probably will do another video on it this year, just as a reminder that as we get to the new year, you know, people start thinking about organizing. And so I've, you know, I'm trying to keep an eye out for any kind of planners or organizers or things like that, that I can get listed now. But we'll see. This is just nice, nice condition. It's in great condition, and for and the age, it's it's a bus the business card part comes out, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to just be that. It, you know, you could put a notebook or you could put something else in it. Okay, and one of my last favorite finds of the day <laughs> is we just didn't we don't find this stuff super often. No, but it is um, Dansk, and it's a trivet. So I'll throw up some comps on the screen. Dansk International Designs. It is just Malaysia, mm -hmm. but um, so it's not made in Denmark or anything like that. But it's IHQ, which is Jens Kiesgaard or whatever his name is. Sure. <laughs> what you said. Um, JHQ, IHQ, you can look that up. But it needs a little bit of touch up, which... That's what Mr. Pishposh is for. <laughs> yeah, but what's really cool about it is that I've never seen this design, even mm -hmm. in my research, right? I've never come across this. Mm -hmm. um, but um, if you get something like this, you don't need to sand it generally or anything like that. Um, they sell uh, beeswax for anything that's going to be food grade. Um, so we have some left over from different projects I've done in the past. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, maybe just wash it down if it has any... Mm -hmm. Residue. It does feel a little sticky yeah, they usually are because they get a little food. So it's you, just soap, mild soap and water, um, and then yeah, that beeswax, which um, I can even tell Shannon, and if she wants to, she can I'll put link a it. link mm -hmm. um, because you can use it for any kind of cutting board, char charcuterie. charcuterie boards, or anything like that, butcher block, um, and it works great um, and it's non toxic. So, and it'll it'll make this look, you know. Not new, but it'll definitely that's spiff better. it up. Alrighty, that's what we found on our little outing to the thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we will do more outings together, I'm sure, and we'll we'll do some more thrifting and more what solds and things like that together. So um, leave a comment down below. Have you gone thrifting lately? What's your favorite thing that you found most recently? Okay, we will talk to you guys later on this week.